Hi again, guys. This is video number two of the day. Um, today's topic is glycerin. Um, I have been asked about glycerin so, 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 so many times. Um, and my response has always been, well, I'm not a chemist, so I can't tell you everything about, you know, specific ingredients. But, um, so what I did do was because glycerin is in a lot of the styling products that I use or a few by a lot I mean a high ratio of them because I only use um, a handful of styling products in the salon and on myself so what I did was I, I took a look at the ingredients on the stylers I do use and I found glycerin um, as a main ingredient meaning in the first um, five ingredients or three ingredients even in um, the ultra defining gel from Diva Curl, which I use, and the Believe In from Diva Curl, which I use. And so, what do both of these products do? Both of these products um, are to put things together. So, gels are supposed to create like a cast for control. And then, Believe In's whole purpose is to plump curls but it doesn't actually make your curls or like make you have more hair what it does is it it clumps the hairs together to create larger curls um and so the so there's more curl volume not more hair volume um actually the amount of volume in the entire hair will be less because the curls will be bigger meaning there will be less total curls um, so what does glycerin do? Glycerin, from the research that I've done, and you guys can put down in the comments if you are experts in what, what glycerin as an ingredient does. It's a humectant, it's a moisturizer, that's what that means. Um, and it creates this viscosity of, of these products, so that they're not just like a liquid it's actually like a jelly um, because that's a lot easier to work with than just pouring like straight up liquid all over your hair. Um, and the effect that that has as well is the, the grouping of the hair together. And I know that from experience using the products on clients. So I'll use the ultra defining gel as the first styler on a low porosity client to help trap in the water while it's wet. Um, and also for clumping of hair together because low porosity hair doesn't want to come together it wants to separate because it's so dry and moisture is needed to keep the hairs together to form a curl pattern now for high porosity hair it's it's the opposite so um, if you are to put into wet hair a good amount of that ultra defining gel or that believe in the hair is going to clump up and if it already um, is high porosity then it naturally clumps up and if it clumps up too much it's not going to curl up um it'll be very stuck together and weighed down and it will dry as just like like let's say this whole side of the hair is like drying just clumped and stuck together it's not going to come up um so i don't use believe in in the salon at all um and the reason for that is i found that it can be kind of flaky um and I just, I try to utilize as little styling products as possible to keep things as inexpensive and simplified for my clients. Because really what I teach is low maintenance hair, um, a true wash and go. And then uh, for the ultra defining gel, I, on low porosity, like I said, I'll apply it quickly to soaking wet hair to try to lock in the water. Um, and if I'm going to use it on high porosity hair, what I do is I um, don't put it through soaking wet hair. I just use a very small amount and kind of shake it as a layer over top of the hair to try to get that cast without putting all that glycerin into the hair strands and causing them to clump up. So um, that's what I know about glycerin. As far as a lot of people have asked about different, you know, weather and how does glycerin affect different weather. That's just something I'm not an expert on and I'm not gonna pretend to be. Um, what I do know is that the the effect that it has as a styling product, um, as part of a styling product. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys. I'm only sharing with you what I know. Not I'm not going to just make up guesses and pretend to be an authority on things that I'm not. So um, I do think that 
all that matters is the experience of using a product. Um, if you're finding that you use something with, uh, with glycerin as a main ingredient and your hair isn't curling up, then you shouldn't use it. Um, and, but if that glycerin is a very later ingredient, like one of the 10th, 15th, 20th ingredients, it's really not enough to, um, have that sort of effect on the hair. It's very, very minimal. So, um, focus on your main ingredients, focus on your first five ingredients and try not to make yourself crazy over like searching the entire list and like finding something at the bottom and being like, ah, my hair doesn't like that. I can't use that. Um, unless you have an extreme allergy to something, then yeah, don't use anything with that in it. Okay. Um, love you guys. I'm going to make some more videos. Um, and I'll tell you why soon. Um, I am going to pound them out today. And so thanks for watching. Um, if you want to Keep up with me on Instagram. It's at the Curl Ninja. Uh, subscribe to always get notified about videos first. I don't always announce them right away. So um, yeah, thanks again.